In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a wedge on your Nextar 6SE or 8SE. This happens to be my 8SE. So I will show you how to get that all set up. First, when you bring out your tripod, you always wanna make sure you have it pointed north. I have a compass I bring with me. I don't stand right here because the metal messes it up. Stand back a little bit, get north, figure it out, and then make sure you have the uh, wedge, the face of that basically pointing north. Then you want to set your elevation to whatever your uh, latitude is. So I'm at like 36. So you would just loosen these and you would adjust your latitude so that the lines up with the markers on the scale here. So mine is all set up there. Everything is tightened down to attach the mount to the wedge. It is facing north. I also use the level on the wedge and it is the tripod's level. Once you have that all done, you turn on the power. I'm leaving everything covered up since the sun is out today. I don't know where it's gonna be slewing to, um, but I wanted to do this during the daytime to show you. So it's gonna tell you to hit enter to begin, and I'm gonna choose from my alignment type. You need to scroll down until it says EQ North Align, because I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. And I'm using the EQ mount, so you hit enter. Enter the time, I'm just gonna leave it at eight o'clock um, for last night, standard time, yes, Central USA, the date, 129, which was last night, because I know where things were last, last night. And then choosing the me method, there's an uh, EQ auto align, two star line, one star line, solar system. I'm just going to do the auto align and hit enter. It's going to tell you to um, set the alt index to what you need to, so you do that. Gonna tell you to find the uh, meridian so you want to rotate the scope until it's facing the meridian that's basically the north-south line so I just kind of stand here and get the OTA lined up so it's pretty much in line with that if I would take the tube and pointing it that way it would be pointing due north I hit enter and you want to start at the index markings. The index markings are on your telescope here. And just get those two triangles lined up. And it says select star. I'm going to go ahead and select Sirius since that's what it's defaulting to. Hit enter. It may give you a warning like slew limit reached. I think I was fine last night where it was, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And we'll move to where Sirius is. And you notice it always finishes going up and to the right. And that's how you should always finish any of your movements as well, because that keeps the motors engaged um, so there's no backlash. And then it would tell you to center this in the finder. You would make any adjustments to get Sirius lined up in your finder. And you hit enter. And it'll tell you to adjust it using your eyepiece. You get it all centered in your eyepiece and you hit enter. And good thing I had the lens caps on because the sun's coming out right over there. And then you hit align for that. Select star two, it says Capella, which is fine. Capella was pretty high last night in the sky. Yep. You notice I have a wood piece here it's just a temporary wood dovetail extension when i put some cameras on the back i don't like it hitting the face so i can slide this further away and it helps with balance as well okay once again it will tell you to uh, use the arrow keys you would look in the finder scope get that centered hit enter then you look in your eyepiece find it make sure it's centered hit align it says align success i'll warn you to turn off your star pointer if you have that then I can hit like solar system, find an object, Jupiter, hit enter. So I was looking at Jupiter last night. And I'm going to take you right to Jupiter. And that's where it was last night. And I can look at Jupiter. And I know that I was looking at the uh, Orion Nebula last night, so I'll put in 042 for that for deep sky. And it take me over to the Ryan Nebula last night. So 
that is how you use the eat the mount with your next tire scope and the EQ align.